Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so you guys, I have a lot, a lot of things to share with you guys. And forgive me, and I already asked that Yahuwah, my Elohim, my Father, forgive me that my head is not even covered right now, that I'm trying to get ready to drive, okay? As you guys can see, or you can't probably see, it's about to start storming. And it's so crazy because the enemy hates when I'm out here trying to wake up people from deception from these pagan roots in which we were, have been worshiping. For those of you who have not come into the light and the full understanding of how the enemy has been operating in our lives and trying to keep us in darkness and deception. Okay, darkness and deception. And this is why it's so important for you guys to have your own relationship with Yahusha Hamashiach and knowing who he is. A lot of people are gonna perish because they do not want to go to the Father themselves. People are making idols out of everything. Prophetic words are becoming idols. Marriages are becoming idols. The desires of your flesh are your idols, okay? And some people are not willing to lay them down and they're wondering why nothing is happening in their life. People, a lot of people are not wanting to die into their flesh, okay? You have to die into your flesh and die into an old self in order to start walking in the ways of Yahusha, all right? So I wanted to let you guys know I have some good messages along with some things that people need to work on, okay? So, <laughs> excuse me. I need to come out here and let you guys know that there's a lot of false doctrine that people are adhering to, but they say that they are followers of Yahuwah, but they are not followers of Yahuwah. You know why? Because if true followers of Yahuwah worship him in truth and in spirit. And some people are being very lukewarm during this time, and this is not the time to be lukewarm. You're going to have to pick a side. Either you are left or you are right, okay? Because the enemy has got a lot of people sitting in confusion. He's got a lot of people sitting in deception because they don't even read the word for themselves. And even when you're reading the word, it's Yahusha, Yahuwah, our father, that's going to reveal the hidden things that you do not know about what it is and what that revelation is of that scripture and how it applies to you, all right? And what the truth is, because we already know that all these religions have some pagan roots and ties to it, all right? And so for me, I'm coming out of any type of religious system, all right? And you guys do need to do the same too. And that's why he's telling people to come out of Babylon, okay? Babylon is filled with even the enemy working and masking himself as a beacon of light. And you gotta see how the enemy has been infiltrating every little system out here and trying to mimic everything that Yahuwah has tried to establish in this earth for us to follow. He tries to mimic it and then he tries to deceive us. And that's why a lot of people are, are deceived, all right? And if everybody's doing it, let me tell you something. He says the way that leads to death is broad. And don't quote me verbatim, but the path towards Yahuwah is narrow and only few find it. That's like many are called, but few are chosen because people won't take the time to find out the truth. And then when you're telling people the truth, they reject the truth. I'm telling you guys, you need to know that the father's name is Yahuwah and his son's name is Yahusha HaMashiach. Okay, who you know as Jesus Christ and God, okay? Babylon is tied up in all of the systems, which is America, okay? And he's bringing down Babylon because he is tired of people worshiping false idols. And you don't even know that you're worshiping false idols. The days of the week are named after false idols. The holidays in which have been celebrated, okay? Christmas, Easter, whatever these little man-made holidays are, they have a lot of pagan roots tied to them. They are actually worshiping deities such as sun worship when you go to church on sunday you are worshiping deities on a sunday like worship sun worship okay the sabbath day has never changed from saturday it's still on saturday but the enemy has tried to make things seem like it's okay to worship him on sunday if you are a follower you're going to worship the father in truth Okay, that is the truth. And let me tell you another thing. He is telling people to get back to the Torah. The Torah never left. The Old Testament was never abolished. The Torah is our grace. All right? We should be living by his laws and his commands. And we can't even be lukewarm about it. Okay? Because then now we're appealing more to our flesh and we care more about our flesh than doing the will and living according to his will. All right? 
and I'm not out here condemning anybody, but you should definitely feel convicted in your spirit that why are you not going out here to search for the truth on your own? You know, I've been sitting in my own quiet place because I've been trying to seek the truth. And he, the more I am seeking the truth, the more it's being revealed to me. All right? So anything that I say, you should be taking it back to even test it. Okay? Because some of y'all are listening to a lot of false prophets out here that have divining spirits and familiar spirits that are leading you astray. They're not telling you the truth. They're telling you things to tickle your ears and tickle your flesh. If you're listening to anybody out here that's sitting here talking about a whole bunch of stuff that's all dealing with the desires of your flesh, then something is not right. All right? Another thing is testing. When you hear people say, test the fruits or test the spirits, um, excuse me, test, um, test the spirit by the spirit. Okay? How do you do that? You need to be asking Yahuwah, first of all, is that of him? That's number one. Then number two, you need to cross-reference that thing by his word and by the Holy Spirit. Don't just take everything that you're hearing because, again, the enemy knows the things that you like too, right? So he's going to sit here and give you a little bit of truth and then throw in the lies behind it because that's how he drags people in. That's no different like when you go into tarot or divination, those those tarot readers, they, they the, the enemy is using familiar spirits and spirits that are of him that know things too, right? They know things too. So they give you a little bit of truth and then they have a lot of lies to keep you tied up in cycles and in confusion and distraction. Even some of the relationships that y'all are in, okay? Some of the relationships that you are in, test the fruits of the spirits. Do their spirits mimic or look like, okay, how the Father says it should look? Don't get tied up in all this deception with kingdom spouses and all this kind of stuff and that stuff that sounds like it's of divination with twin twin flames and all that kind of stuff. It's not your job to heal other people. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't think that the Lord is going to bring you anybody that is not even uh, uh, spiritually yoked with you, okay? The enemy may bring something to you and tell you this is um, of him, but truly you need to be testing the fruits. Test the fruits of the people that are around you, okay? Because the enemy will use anybody, anybody to get to you. He will use anybody to get to you. Your life should be led by the Ruach HaKadosh, by the Holy Spirit. You know why? Because that is how you're going to know what you were put on earth to do and what your purpose is. But you're not going to know it going to everybody else except to Yahuwah. A lot of the people have not died into the self and really truly repented of their ways and turned away from the things that they were doing to turn back into him. You can't go out here and say, oh, you know, it's, you know, he gives us grace and he just gives us love. So you can just turn around and say, I ask for forgiveness and I repent of my sins and turn around on Monday and do the same thing back over again. You cannot do that. Okay? When you are truly having a repentant heart, it means to turn away and to stop doing it. If you're really truly sorry, you're going to turn away and you're going to stop doing it. Don't get it twisted too. Yahushua or Yahuwah our Father will allow us to experience some things. To help even bring about some change. So, so if some of you guys are dealing with a lot of pain and different things in your life, it's because he's trying to bring people to the end of themselves to bring themselves back to him so he can be the person that he was always supposed to be, your first love, okay, and the only idol of your life, which is Yahuwah, our Elohim himself, not anything of this world. But we have gotten just taken off path okay and i'm not saying that i'm perfect we all have been out here and i have been deceived you know what i'm saying i've had to come and you know, make sure that i'm hearing correctly and seeing how the enemy comes and, and then the holy spirit's like i was trying to show you some things because a lot of people don't even know how the enemy's been hiding in their lives and keeping them in delusion keeping them in cycles keeping them in brokenness wake up okay wake up to the truth wake up to the truth all right, I have this book that says come out of her. It will talk about all the different things and how we have been deceived. How Yahushua died on, was hung, if I'm not mistaken, or died on a stake. That is the word for Hebrew. All right, a stake is a tree. But everybody walking around here talking about a cross. All right, let's get some truth. 
We know that his name has been changed over and over and over and over and over again. But in his word, it says, do not change my name. Do not add to my word and do not take away from my word. And then you got the lukewarm people saying, I follow, I follow Christ because I go to church on Sunday. But that's all you do. And a lot of people think that they're just going to be automatically saved. You're not just automatically saved. That's why he tells people to work out your salvation with trembling in fear trembling in fear he didn't say that okay once you accepted him you was just done these are things that people need to take back to the father and really understand how the enemy is masking himself as light to say yeah yeah all, all i got to do is just accept him and i can go back out here and just keep living in sin but a lot of people are so lukewarm that they only want some part to have to follow yahusha okay and they want to be some part still of the world and I'm telling you right now, he's giving me scripture reference over and over and over again that he's coming through here. He is tearing things up. All right. He is coming by fire. He is going to destroy. All right. And he's going to up uplift his true followers. All right. And people that truly love him and worship him in truth and in spirit. You're going to have to know how to endure to the end because this new world. Okay. This new world. If you catch what I'm saying, it's coming. And if you don't know how to be led by the holy spirit you're going to fall right into the enemy's trap all right because you're going to be lukewarm and you still want to love your life here on earth that you're not willing to die and sacrifice in order to follow our one and true savior there's only one god and one savior okay and that is yahushua hamashiach aka jesus christ and our god our elohim is Yahua. all right People need to start waking up so you can worship him in truth and in spirit. Even some of the people that you're listening to, all right, are still in the world and not even practicing what they're telling you. Okay, don't be out here idolizing prophetic words. Don't idolize nobody. Even if the Lord shows you, our Elohim shows you the promises, you still have to make sure you don't make it an idol. Trust me, I know this because even when he was showing me promises, it was becoming more fixated on my mind versus me keeping my eyes fixed on seeking the kingdom above and everything will be added unto you. He had to readjust and, you know, like take me through some steps. Hello? So I'm, I'm not telling you things that I don't know or that he doesn't make me go through first. I've had to go through a lot of things behind the scenes that y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know that I've experienced a lot of different things out here walking for him. Enemy's trying to trip me up left and right, but I'm still moving. I'm still standing by the, his grace. So he gives us the grace to get it right and to get back on track. Even when you fall down, he wants you to get up and keep moving. But it's not for you to say, okay, I messed up, so let me go back to it. No. But on the flip side, to give y'all some, uh, some encouragement, let me tell you, I woke up this morning and the song that he gave me was, because this is my birthday month, all right? He's gave me the song. This is the first days of the best days of my life or your life. The best is yet to come. The best, whatever, right? Excuse my voice. But that was a song, all right? So the, today is the first day of the best days of my life, all right? So that may apply to some of you who have been going through the sanctification, the purification, all right? The consecration, the transition. You know, a lot of you guys, um, he told me too, he's shaking and baking right now. So even if you feel like he's shaking some things out of, you, up, uh, out of your life, he's shaking it for a reason. Because he's also trying to show you your circle, your people around you. So he might have shook up some things in the last season, but he's shaking it up again to remove some things and expose some things, some things that you did not know yet. To give you some wisdom, some knowledge, and some understanding of things that you did not see before. But now he's giving you the spiritual lens and spiritual clarity by his spirit and counsel of wisdom and knowledge to help you to see things of the enemy. And you should rejoice in that. Because the enemy knew that you didn't know nothing about it. So he was about to put you back in a cycle and try to take you backwards. Let me tell you something. Yahuwah will not bring you anything in your life to take you back from things that he delivered you from. He would not catch that. He will not bring you anything in your life to take you backwards to the things that he had delivered you from. So if things are trying to take you backwards, you have to ask what spirit sent that into your life. All right. Another thing he's been showing me, like today I just passed the car and it said, just Mary. I was in Target and the dad going deodorant said, queen, I told you guys, 
that this is that season like the Esther anointing blessings coming through some people are actually this is season for marriage you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not getting no kingdom spouse. There's a whole deception thing going on with, on with that too that reminds me of like divination, all that kind of stuff, right? But it doesn't mean that he won't bring you somebody that he's going to spiritually really yoke you with, all right? But you have to seek him for that, all right? So yes, he is bringing marriage. Yes, he is actually, you know, uh, uh, bringing fresh oil, okay? Fresh oil and pouring out his spirit and his grace in order for people to actually fulfill the calling and the purpose that he has for you so even if you felt like you was just going through so much in that season and then he's shifting things and transitioning things and it's just changing everything's changing at a rapid space go with it allow him to do what he knows to do because it's all for your protection and everything you went through he's not going to allow any of it any of it to go to waste okay any of it to go to waste I am going to come out here and give a teaching because like I said, I'm in my own transition. So he's actually brought me an opportunity. So I'm going to be working. So I've definitely have been having a lot of things going on with that. A lot of distraction. The enemy has brought all type of distractions to try to throw me off course. People, insects, things that I fear. Just, you know, trying to just get me out of even being able to stay focused. Oh yeah, that brings me back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Another uh, song he gave me was, uh, I think it's by Brent Jones keep your mind it's called spiritual things keep your mind keep your mind on spiritual things so if you keep your mind on Yahuwah all right he will give you perfect peace even though the enemy's trying to throw everything at you he's throwing the daggone house the trees the storms he's bringing any type of distraction that he can is to throw you off course and it's also to try to make you feel like you have not crossed over or about to cross over into the new things that Yahuwah has for you the promises is here okay I'm gonna tell you that right now the promises are here okay watch them start taking off in your life and those and this goes for those that know what season they're in this is not for everybody all right these are the things when i come out here and speak by the holy spirit it should be a confirmation of things that he's already said to you in the secret place and then when i went um even today i had a hawaii license plate that had a rainbow on it i went up to the area where my land that i'm supposed to possess two double rainbows double promises so know that he's coming out here fulfilling his promises and then you're going to have to keep your eyes fixed on him because he's coming out to, to take some things down. People in high places, he's bringing it down. He's going to be changing a whole bunch of things. You see the laws changing. What he's trying to do is establish his kingdom here on earth and bring people back to him. Okay? To worship him and in truth and in spirit. And to get rid of all this pagan stuff. Because you don't even realize you're worshiping pagan gods. And that's idol ideology okay we're not supposed to be worshiping no type of idols and we don't even know that we're doing it this is why you should have a repentant heart and repent of things that you know that you're doing and don't know that you're doing just because you don't have the what the wisdom and the knowledge and nor are you seeking it everybody's supposed to study to show themselves approved people need to get out here and start studying and before anybody tries to come on my channel and tell me that i'm not that I'm, I'm telling a lie and all this other stuff go ask the father because he co-signs and confirms everything that I am saying. So that's all that I got for you guys today. I want you to be encouraged that the, that the promises are here, okay? The promises are here for those of you and you guys really need to be having a repentant heart and to turn away from worshiping false idols. There's a book, I'm, I'm trying to link it below when I get home, I gotta get ready to go. But um, I just got excited today. But I really have a teaching that I really want to teach you guys, but I've been so overwhelmed with so many distractions. I hadn't even been able to come out here and tell you guys this stuff. I have a wealth of knowledge that I want to pour out that the Holy Spirit has given to me, the Ruach HaKadosh, to give to you guys. And another thing is, too, he is coming. He's still coming. He's been showing me he's coming. And he will be rapturing his saints. Okay? And we're going to see tribulation out here. And you're going to have to keep your mind fixed on him in order to have peace. All right. I was actually in tears yesterday just grieving because we there's a lot of people that think that they're going to heaven, but you're not. You're not. And there's such a such thing before anybody try to say that I'm judging them. There is a righteous judgment. I have a right to have a righteous judgment. And I can tell somebody you're not a true follower of um, Yahusha if you're not really abiding by his laws. And let me tell you something. Nothing wiped out the Old Testament. Nothing wiped out the laws that he gave Moses in the Ten Commandments in the Torah. That still stands. 
But the enemy out here got people deceived, like, oh, we don't have to adhere to that. That's the Old Testament. Oh, that's the old law. We're not under the law. We're only under grace. Says who? And then y'all gonna go try to pull that Paul scripture. Paul was still confirming that we should still uphold the Torah. But y'all can take and flip that scripture however many ways that you want to in order to fit your lifestyle. And that's why Yahushua's upset because people out here trying to bend scripture to fit their lifestyle. Your pastors, all these fake, 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 fake people acting like they're really serving him when they're not. That's all I got. Y'all be blessed and I'll be back soon.